There's no place like home. There's no place like home. But I want to go home now. There's no place like home. Come inside, come inside There behind the glass stands a real blade of grass Be careful as you pass Move along, move along Come inside You are looking live at Beaver Stadium And folks, welcome to the mother of all whiteouts This worked a couple years ago for Penn State against Ohio State But tonight, well shall see everybody i'm brad musburger along with kirk herb street mr herb street you were on that sideline a couple years ago you told me the noisiest you've ever heard a student body how will the buckeyes handle all this today? well you're right two years ago it was one of the greatest scenes i've ever seen Talk probably penn state two years ago yeah. that was probably a lot that was by far the loudest i've been yeah. in penn state yeah no, without doubt penn state 2005 was, um, was that night game had a white out Student section. I swear, like the support of the stadium was humongous. When when Texas was here in five, and AJ Hawk got the interception, I don't know if you guys remember how loud that was. But I think Penn State was just on, on the verge of being that loud the whole game. Didn't matter if it was first down or second down. They were just and they got that that music they play and the Lindy Lion growl and the guys get up and jump. Well, look at this crowd. I mean, they are up and they are making lots and lots of noise trying to get the Nittany Lions to get a defensive stop here. And it's third down. Ohio State needs the 30-yard line. Great protection. Ball is drilled. It is intercepted at the 30. And that's Lowry. 15, 10 at the 5. It'll be first and goal at the 2-yard line, Penn State. Ron Franklin, along with Bob Davey and Holly Rowe, coming to you from a record-setting crowd here in the State College, Pennsylvania, Beaver Stadium. Let's go, yo! What a scene! Standing room only, maybe 110,000 people in a sea of white. The roar is back in State College, and they are happy again in Happy Valley. Surgery. He got his feet wet last week, the last two series against Georgia Tech. Tonight he jumps into the deep end of the pool against a pretty solid Penn State defense in a very hostile environment. Boy, does he ever. They asked for a sea of white. They asked everybody, except the Notre Dame fans, of course, to wear white for this one. And it looks like they all complied as we wait for the Nittany Lions of Penn State and Joe Paterno, who was so thrilled a week ago that he can run out of the tunnel and lead this ball club. Guys, have got to do a great job protecting your boss. Regis, thank you very much. And it's the left tackle, Paul Duncan, who backs out early. And right away, you see the effect of this crowd. A longer snap count. Charlie Weiss told us they worked on Thursday indoors with a lot of noise. He felt very confident about their ability to handle the noise. But the first play out of the box, they have two linemen moving. Thank you. Welcome back to an electric scene, a big part of the story tonight. Penn State taking the field behind us here. This is a very emotional team when they play at home. They're emotional coming off the bus. I'm going to... Handle the pressure of that crowd, because you know Penn State's going to be jacked up. That crowd's going to be big tonight. The crowd behind us will be a big factor. Let's great 
give me back in Happy Valley. No wonder they're happy. They're 5-0 in that stadium. <laughs> yeah, right. and they have the best student body in the nation. It's like the 12th man for these guys. Boy, they're a tough team to beat in that stadium. Well, I think when, when the White House is in effect yeah. and they have the rally in the Valley, this place comes alive. They're not, they've won 19 of the last 20 for a reason. It's because, as you said, the student section and the defense feeds off of that energy. It'll be a challenge for the Buckeyes yeah. tonight. Yeah, I've heard Penn State's pretty loud, too. The student section, the wideout, they do that whole zombie nation thing, you know. Well, another student wideout. And look who's down there right in the middle of things. Lisa Salters, Lisa. Well, Brad, what makes this wideout so effective is that it is the largest Paterno. What does it feel like to cap off your entire career here as a Nittany Lion in a game like this with all the hype about your coach, about Bobby Bowden, and then it goes to triple overtime? I mean, this game was was what, I, what this senior class has been through. We've been up, we've been down, but we finished it right, and we couldn't have did it without those 110,000 fans over there.